Um, Did Alex have a weave? Was that? He had a wig, yeah. yeah. It was weaved in, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> so he actually had to go home with that hair at the end of it every day? It came off every day. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, no, I think God it was a wig Alex. that came off every day. But, I mean, Anya, for example, was in... I mean, there were there's very few scenes that you aren't in. And I remember there were certain days where it was lots of little bits. And when I looked at the schedule... And the amount of changes. <laughs> and each of my changes took about 40 minutes to an hour. Oh, and so God, like, costumes were just... we'd get in, change all of it, and then you have to change the hair and the accessories with it. And if it hadn't been for um, Jill, our makeup lady, she was just so unbelievable. And by the end of it, costume, makeup, and I were spending so much time together. <laughs> and we were, we were like a little unit. We could just get things on really quickly, but it was, it was intense. Your own personal dresses. I love it. Um, <laughs> now, obviously, the other character of the show is the doll's house itself. Were you in between takes were you just sort of messing around and playing with it and reliving your childhood or was it sort of a possession that you weren't allowed to touch when you weren't shooting we weren't really allowed to touch <laughs> I was kind of terrified of it to be honest I mean there are all these little scenes where you're holding all these tiny little things and the camera's here so you're sort of like extending your hands like this and they're so small and delicate I was terrified that I dropped something I didn't break anything though no. Oh, wow, very, that's yeah. impressive. I, I, felt, I, had a I felt very session, lucky. I had a session with a real miniaturist, a guy that came in that d made some of the little yeah. things so that they could teach me how to make something. Um, and I, first of all, mine were obviously dreadful. It was just like, here's my <laughs> rubbish little pile of metal. Um, but I couldn't believe how much time it would take to make each thing, so I didn't really want to mess around with them, because if you broke it, that was like two weeks of somebody's work that yeah. had been destroyed. It was one of those jobs where you spent a lot of time looking at what everybody else is doing. As an actor, you sort of go in and get on with what you're doing, but this was one of those jobs where you, you spend so much time obsessing over what other people have created, like the miniatures or like hair and makeup or costume. It became a, a little bit fascinating to watch what everybody else could do. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's set in the 1600s in Holland, um, but when and where did you actually film this all? Did you get to go to Holland, or is it filmed in some studio up in Elstree or something? We did go to Holland. Yeah. What was the, the name of the place? You uh, went Leiden. Like... That was it. Where I'd been on a school trip when I was 11, so <laughs> the memories like, of this place. back. Yeah, I've been to that cafe. Nostalgia. Um, but then we filmed a lot around London and all these sort of interiors. Uh, what was the place called? Luton Who? Was that Luton Who? Luton Luton in Luton. Luton. Very glamorous. Yes, so very <laughs> glamorous. You had to say it. You had to be like, <laughs> but the place in Leiden, we were there for the first week of shooting to get a lot of the exteriors and the big church scene um, and your very specific light. And that was lovely. We yeah. all got excited because we thought we were going to be in central Amsterdam for a week. And then we were in this tiny little town, but it was really beautiful, wasn't yeah. it? It was really nice. Did you shoot it in the summer? Were you, you weren't dressed up like that in the, in the blazing heat, were you? No. Sort of I mean, it was coming on for sure. There was certain, I'm a bit of a vampire, and so I was outside and I'm like, oh, I'm so <laughs> reflective. Um, but no, I think we, we started shooting in Mar March. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. That's fine. Obviously, we said it's set 400 years ago, but do you think there's kind of elements of the story that are going to sort of reflect back to modern society? Because there are some sort of themes in there, which I know some of you, you won't be able to touch on all of them, but there's definitely st stuff that resonates, I think. Absolutely. I mean, I think, again, what's so lovely about all these characters is that you think that they're going to be stereotypes of themselves, but they're actually all really modern and they have very modern desires and wants and, and morals, actually. And so it was, it's really interesting because I think sometimes you can hear period drama and people assume, like, you have to act in a period drama way, but they're just people yeah. living yeah. in a different time. I think the theme of feminism is very, very strong. And um, with all of the women in the show, all of their roles are, are challenged and they find it very difficult to kind of fit within that box. Um, I think the core of the household are a group of people who are sort of considered to be living or trying not to, trying to fit into a society where they, they sh sort of should be living on the edges of it for different reasons. Um, and also the sort of, ex the, the exterior world outside of the house is this very, very strict puritan puritanical state and so I think we can definitely, it definitely reflects back on society, the sort of government and what they're bearing down on us and how we live within that 